Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. This is Corey Heights. Some battles. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they got us. If they did, maybe, maybe. So you will get better as a player during that year. So it was kind of exciting. Like, oh, yeah, somebody wants me. Now help me on this. You've got the unique problem where since you have had so much success and have played so many guys in college, at D1 and in the NBA, you know, you're getting a lot of people emailing you, a lot of college coaches calling you, agents, I'm sure. So like, you have to make sure you pick the right team. So to walk me through the process, like when you've got 50 excellent on the ball, on the court players, how do you then start deciphering like which kids you want to start going after? You know, it, it's funny, years ago, I, I, I created this formula where I would, you know, everyone has to submit recommendations from teachers. And I would score the, the recommendations, you know, in, in areas where they, they give a rating for, you know, for example, the character pieces, you know, one through five, with five being the highest. And I would pay more attention to the character pieces such as work ethic, honesty and integrity, relationships with peers, motivation, things like that. So I would take the five recommendations total the score up and then average it so the the total the maximum perfect score would be 15. what i learned was the guys that were sub 10 would really have some character flaws that would that would show themselves throughout the course of the year when they had to face some sort of adversity but what i learned was the kids that were always in the 13 14 range they had unbelievable work ethic they were great teammates they weren't you know they weren't selfish they were they were motivated by you know various things so i i learned that that 12 13 and up range is where we were going to have our best teams and if you go back and look at some of our best teams the bulk of the guys were all like 13s 14s on their recommendations from their teachers which had nothing to do with really basketball it was it was mainly the, the character piece.